Hey everybody, Brendan here. So we're going to take a look at that other technique that we did in class the other day, the cutting out for the machined Phillips screw head um, using the Boolean method and again cutting us down to a quarter of the model and fixing our topology and then using duplicate special uh, to recreate the entire model and that just saves us an awful lot of time. So this time we're going to start with a primitive, uh, but we're going to start with a primitive sphere this time and take a look at the construction. 12 by 12 sides is terrific. We're just going to increase the size of it to 5. Let's go into the side view. And we want we don't need all this geometry. We only need the part that's going to be on top so we can get rid of the entire bottom. Back here to object mode. Let's scale this thing down so it looks a little bit more like a screw. Something like that. Doesn't need to be absolutely exact. Let's go back to object mode and perspective, okay? So what we want to do here now is uh, whenever we can get rid of geometry or vertices that we're not really going to use, uh, we should definitely take advantage of it, especially if we're cutting up faces and using booleans. The less we are using, the better. So we're gonna go into shift and edge mode and select some edges that are gonna be a little bit redundant. This one, this one, and this one. We're gonna shift, right click, and delete edge. So that just gives us less geometry to deal with uh, and the result's still going to be fine. So we select this object um, and we'll just delete the history. Next we need the cutting tool which in our case is a cube and the construction of the cube we want a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. Alright and if we turn on our outliner we're able to get that. Hit W to move it up and here's our cube. Now we want to do the extrusion to get that nice Phillips head look. So we're going to go into the faces mode, grab these faces. Up at the edit mesh, I just want to verify that keep faces together is off. Okay. Down here, we're going to shift right click, do the extrusion. Go to the Z axis and pull those out. Okay. Now the cube is two by two by two. So I want to make sure these units also come out to units. So I'm going to type it in over here and get a nice symmetrical object. Now just we're going to do the bevel on the edges and that'll give it a smoother look. So that selects our edges all the way around and we're going to do a shift bevel edge. Check our settings which are going to be one segment and a 0.2 in the width. Should be fine and it looks good. So now we have our cutting tool and we have the screw top. So we'll go back into object mode and let's just line these up from above. So we're going to space bar and go to the top view. Alright, so we've talked about this before but the one thing we want to do is we want to rotate the screw 15 degrees or enough so that we don't have um, this when we cut this out it's not divided in half on each side by this edge. And that's just going to make for cleaner geometry to begin with. Because you can see when if you just rotate this like that, um, this will all be one face. You'll get a face, a face, and a face, which is going to be much cleaner. So I know this is going to be 15 degrees, so we'll just line it up like that. Okie dokie. So now let's go back down into the perspective view, turn on shaded view. And what we want to do is move this down to the depth that we want to cut. Let's say something like that. Make sure it's poking through the geometry. So we want to cut the object that is to be cut, or click it, and then shift click the cutting tool, in this case, the cross. Then we're going to go to Mesh, Booleans, and Difference. And there we go. Now we get the nice cut. All we need to do is scoop out all this geometry that we don't need. So we'll go into Faces mode, and we'll grab all this stuff. Oops a little far, a little bit more like this, this, and grab all of this, and grab all of this, and just get rid of all this stuff.
And there we go. Now we have our nice cut shape. What we're gonna do is go back up to the shift or space bar to top view, okay? And um, what we need now is, uh, we only need a quarter of this, but we're not set up to actually pull out a quarter, so we're gonna need some um, cuts vertically and horizontally, and you could do them by eyeball, but it's more likely that you will um, not get them absolutely perfect on the origin lines. So what we're gonna do is go into the Cut Faces tool at the object level, would go into this options box and what we want because default is to do it interactively what we want is on the YZ plane we'll apply one and on the X Z X Y plane uh, we'll apply another one and what this gives us is a perfect vertical and horizontal cut directly on the axes and when we sew the object back together again that's just going to make the object uh, much cleaner to work with so we know that those are perfectly zeroed so when we sew vertices together um, they're going to come out great. Let's go into faces mode and delete everything we don't need. Which is this? Now we're down to this object here. Let's frame them up and take a look at what we got. First things first, let's just clean this for vertices. So um, Whenever we do booleans, um, it's best to start sewing up vertices or merging vertices to make sure all your edges are uh, nice and clean and that your cuts are single vertices. So I'm going to do a go to merge vertices and merge. Okay, and then just grab a couple and do counts. So we should have three. This should be three. This should be three. This should be six. Looks like we've got nice clean geometry. Okay, so we're pretty good for quads here. We got quads, 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 quads. The only thing that's obviously not quads are these two big n-gons in the middle, okay? But we can fix that pretty easily. Uh, all we need is to do a cut so that we have four sided objects on either side. Um, and in this case, if we hold down shift, right click, go into the interactive split tool, um, we should be able to click to here. That will give me four sides over here, four sides over here. And I can actually just click there and then right click off, Q to exit tool, and we have um, nice quad geometry all the way around. All right, so I'll delete the history once again. And um, our pivot's in the right place. So let's move on to the duplicate special tool. Under the edit menu, down here we have duplicate special. And what we're going to do we reset is we want to rotate 90 degrees on the Y and we need three copies. All right, everything else is fine. Copies are fine, parents fine, and we hit apply. And this gives us our rebuilt geometry. Like the Gatlin ring, we're gonna select everything, shift, right click, bring down here to combine. Then we're gonna go into the vertex mode and sew these vertices together. So in this case, we'll just select everything and shift, right click, merge vertices, and merge. So we should be in good shape. And what we can be sure is we should be looking at three vertices, three, and if we select all the way across the middle, that should be six. Okay, so we're completely sewed together. And as a matter of fact, we're going to be getting rid of these edges anyway. These were utility edges we used for cutting it up. So we're going to hold down shift and double click each one of these edges. Then shift right click and delete edges. Okay. So now if we hit F3, we should look at our geometry um, and it should just look clean. One of the first rules of doing a build with this many steps is to make sure your vertice counts or make sure your vertice welds are good all the way through. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to go into the smooth proxy mode and that way you can see nice clean geometry. All right. Next thing we got to do is uh, we're going to grab this edge loop right here for the cross and we're going to extrude this down. Okay. So we're going to select that edge, shift right click and go to extrude. Be careful that we don't go down with this. If we just grab this now, if you notice, um, this is going to kind of come in at an angle and it's going to look awful and we definitely don't want to do that. 
So we're going to hit the gizmo. That puts us in world space. Okay. And then we're able to grab the vertical or the Y axis and just pull that straight down like that. I'm going to pull it down further than I need to, just so we can get to those vertices down there. And I don't need it that far down, just something like that. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is get all these vertices nice and square and flush to that surface. And as Dan pointed out in class the other day, much to my happiness, finally we have a reliable way of doing this. Going to go into the Move tool. I'm going to hold it down the W and left click, make sure I'm in world axes. It shouldn't matter, but apparently it does. And um, with the vertical axis selected, all I'm going to do is hold down V because what I'm going to do is middle click on one of the vertices on this level and that will bring all the other vertices up to it. But if I hold down V, and jiggle that, all the vertices snap to the correct level and we're in business. So now we have a nice planar group of vertices. And again, we're just going to grab everything and shift, merge vertices, and merge. That way if there was any stray vertices, um, they should be all tidied up. So we're going to double click here and we'll select that bottom edge, then shift right click and fill hole. This gives us a nice planar surface the grid so you can see it and all we need to do is sew it together with the split polygon tool. So we're going to go into the interactive split which is fine and click there, click, click there, click, click there, there, and click there, there, and click there. Flip this thing all the way around and do the exact same on this side. And we're going to click right here, pull that up to the edge, pull that up to the edge, and right click over here, pull this down to the edge, pull this down to the edge. The edge to the edge, and again here and there. Okay, now we we'll just rotate this over here, grab these guys, and shift right click split, and grab that interactive tool again, and rotate it over here. And we are in business. So we have that all clean. Hit Q to get out of the tool. All right. Let's just hit F3 to take a peek. Make sure our geometry looks clean. Everything looks nice and clean. So now what we need to really do is to delete the history. And we're going to bevel this edge and then bevel this edge all around. And that will give us our top and our bottom. And we should be in good shape then. So let's go to edge mode and double click this edge. And bring this around. Okay, so we have that all the way around now. So we'll shift, right click, go into bevel. This time we do want two sides. And my guess is we want something considerably smaller, maybe 0, 2, 5 on this. Let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good. That'll work. And let's do the same on the top. Grab this, bring it around, hold down shift. And grab these two edges, these edges, 
and these last two edges. And if we hit G, that should give us a bevel on those edges as well. All right, let's take a peek and see what we get. Go to object mode and smooth this out. And there should be your screw.